Welcome back guys, it's time for Amelia Tutorials. Today we will be revisiting the Outlook calendar integration. Now, as you may know, Zoom, Google, Outlook or Microsoft, well, everyone tends to change stuff from time to time, so we need to update these videos as well. I won't waste much of your time. My name is Alexander, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay. So we're in settings and under integrations, we need to link an Outlook calendar. In order to do that, you need to access the Azure portal of Microsoft. Now, once you're in there, click on Microsoft Entra ID. When you access this, you will be able to create a new registration and create what's needed for Amelia and Outlook to work together. So in here under app registrations, click on new registration. And as you can see here, uh, I already have a few from um, January 23, from 22 and so on. So again, since they are changing everything, we need to revisit the, these videos from time to time. Now, back to the tutorial, click on new registration. In here, type a name, let's use an innovative name like Amelia 2024 and under who can use application or access this API, it's accounts in any organizational directory, any Microsoft Entra ID tenant, multi-tenant and personal Microsoft accounts, for example, Skype or Xbox. Redirect URI is what you need to copy from Amelia and it's always your website slash WP dash admin. So copy this and paste it in here. The platform, as you see, is required. So in here, you need to select web. So now, once you've selected the web application and you've entered your redirect URI, you can click on register. Now it's being created, the application is being created and now we need to, we can take a look at the application client ID, which you can copy straight away and paste it in here. So this is the application or the client ID. Now, what we need to do is go into certificates and secrets and create a new secret for this application. Now, when you click on create a secret, the description would be again, Amelia 2024 and expiration is 24 months. It used to be unlimited, but they've changed that as well. So it's now two years. Once you click on add, the application will load. It will create the credentials. And in here, you need to copy the value. So not the secret ID, but this value. Click on this and then paste it in here. And at this point, you're done. Well, you're done with the application coming from Azure and Amelia, but you're not done with setting up everything so it works correctly. Um, I want to point out that a lot of people make mistake, make a mistake copying the secret ID, and this can be a cause for Outlook not working or you not being able to see uh, the Outlook calendar in the employee's account. So to link an employee with Outlook, uh, go into employees section and click on one of the employees. Then scroll down a bit and you will see the option to log into Outlook or sign in with Outlook. Click on this button and it takes you to sign into your account. Now it should automatically sign me in, but this is actually good because I don't like when they sign me in automatically. I want to choose an account. So I use an account, I select the account and now we're waiting for it to load. And here it is. This app wants to access your one info. Uh, you can review this, but it's perfectly safe because you are the one who just created the app in Azure. So you should trust yourself, right? Um, it's unverified. If you want to do this, you can verify the app through Azure and Microsoft, but it tends to take two weeks up to a month for the app to get verified. So um, either way, if you don't verify it, it doesn't break anything, it continues to work. So everything is fine. Uh, and you just need to let your employees know that this is perfectly fine. And this is expected for them to see. So just click accept. Once they accept uh, the app to access their information, uh, it loads a bit and it com comes back to Amelia. 
it refreshes the employee screen and now you can see the calendar which is used uh, to link this employee with his or hers Outlook calendar. Now, back in settings and in integrations Outlook calendar, there are a few more tweaks that you might need. Under integrations, Outlook calendar, scroll down a bit and if you have busy slots already created in your Outlook calendar, for example, I have a doctor's appointment next Monday between two and five. I need to block that so I create a busy event in Outlook calendar and in order to block that availability in Amelia I need to remove Outlook calendar busy slots. Now if you have a lot of busy slots for example you have another application which is storing data into Outlook calendar and you're getting 10, 20, 50 events per day you need to increase the maximum number of events returned because if it's set to 50 and you have 10 events coming into your Outlook calendar per day, within five days, this is gonna be exhausted and Amelia won't be able to read anything farther from five days ahead. So my advice would be to select 999, which is the maximum number of events that will be returned from Outlook into Amelia and simply block the future 999 busy events in Outlook calendar. Um, you can also configure the event title and description. The default is service name, but you can say uh, service name with customer full name. So you can see the title of the event in Outlook <clears throat> says beard trim with John Doe, for example. Description would be uh, service name appointment with again customer full name at um, I can just copy this I'm, I'm not sure why I, why I haven't shown you this but you can just copy appointment uh, start time and paste it in here so um, it also works for events but you would need to create a different description for events because it's different right uh, insert pending appointments so if the default setting of Amelia is set, uh, if the default appointment status is set to pending uh, and you want those to be included as well, you can simply enable this slider. Add events attendees. This adds the attendees into the event so uh, employees will see the customers who booked as attendees. Include buffer time in Outlook events means that if you have a service that, has, that lasts one hour and you have 15 minutes of buffer time, it will be saved as a event in Outlook that lasts one hour and 15 minutes. If you disable this, it will only last one hour. Now, this is basically it. So now every appointment that I create with this Outlook, 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 okay. Um, every appointment I create with this employee will be stored in my Outlook calendar. Okay, so Microsoft is experiencing a high demand for accessing Microsoft Outlook, but never mind. We have the desktop application, which should work fine. Okay, so now we have the desktop app open and um, under calendar, this is where everything will be saved from Amelia. Now, if I create an appointment with this employee, uh, it will be stored in uh, Outlook and also it's important to note that um, previously created appointments will not retroactively be included in Outlook so if you have previous appointments uh, all you need to do is click on them to click on uh, open the appointment and edit the appointment and simply don't change anything just save it once you do that once you save the appointment, it will then appear in Outlook. But if you have 20 previous appointments that were created before you establish the connection, they will not be included. Uh, they will not automatically be added to Outlook. So under appoint April 19th, we have an appointment that 
is now here. Service one with Amelia test one at 10 a.m., which is what we just created. So guys, that's basically it. I may have went into more detail than necessary for this video, but I hope you guys like it. And if you do, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Now, stay tuned because we're about to roll out a few more interesting videos. Take care, guys.